The following training video has been developed and produced by Emergency Aid Training in collaboration with another New York State Department of Health Bureau of EMS core sponsor, Rescue Training Institute. The intent of this video is to instruct first responders and BLS providers in New York State on the proper administration of intranasal naloxone. The following scenario is designed to demonstrate the technique of how to administer intranasal naloxone to a patient who is displaying signs and symptoms of respiratory failure secondary to suspected narcotic overdose. The primary assessment and vital signs have already been completed and advanced life support has already been requested. If regionally approved to obtain blood glucose levels utilizing a glucometer, follow your regionally approved protocol prior to administering intranasal naloxone. After determining that my patient does not meet the exclusion criteria, I'm going to administer a total of two milligrams of naloxone via mucosal atomizer device. I'm going to first thread the vial into the injector. And then I will connect the mucosal atomizer device. To ensure safe and proper medication administration, providers must review the six rights, which are right patient, right medication, right dose, right route, right time, right documentation. I will insert the atomizer into the patient's left nostril and inject one milligram of naloxone. I will then insert the atomizer into the patient's right nostril and inject one milligram of naloxone. After administering the naloxone, prepare for transport. After five minutes, if the patient's respiratory rate is not greater than 10 breaths per minute, follow the same procedure to administer a second dose of naloxone. The following are the exclusion criteria for administering intranasal naloxone. Cardiopulmonary arrest. Seizure activity during this incident pediatric patients, therapeutic opioid use through physician prescription, or evidence of nasal trauma, nasal obstruction, or epistaxis. <laughs> 